It was a happy day for the superheroes, as they had just busted eight of the most notorious mini supervillains. They were the infamous Joker, Harley Quinn, Sinestro, Bizarro, The Riddler, Killer Croc, Penguin, and Lex Luthor. Gosh, Batman, where can we put these bad guys once and for all so they can't get out ever again? This is a job for Superman! So Superman Thomas went out in search of the perfect jail to secure their new prisoners. He flew over snowy mountaintops, but it wasn't until he came across the city that he found what he was looking for. That's it, right there, right over that bridge. I see it, it's an island, an island where we can keep those minis captured for good. The island he was referring to was none other than Alcatraz in the San Francisco Bay. It was a place that had once housed some of history's most notorious criminals, including Al Capone. Welcome to the Thomas and Friends Games World Strongest Ends In. Seven super villain minis go to jail. I know what you're thinking. Why only seven? That's because one lucky mini will be paired up with the winning Trackmaster engine, and that mini will be free to go. But the other seven minis won't be so lucky. Each time they get bumped off the end of the track, they'll fall onto Alcatraz, where they will serve a life sentence. Wow, what an important competition. I wonder which mini will be set free. Lucky for me, I've got Stafford on my side. No one can beat him. Oh, please. Freddy here's got my back. And besides, I told him if he lets me down, I'll have his brain melted. I don't want to spend the rest of my life behind bars. And besides, I've got Thomas here. He's the star of the show. Now don't you let me down, Thomas. Let's get started with Stepney versus Freddy. Oh no! How could this be happening to me? I always wanted to spend the rest of my life on an island somewhere, but not this one! Not Alcatraz Island! No! Alright, let me have a look around here. Oh my gosh, what a total dump! Who would want to live here? No wonder they haven't had a prisoner here for over 50 years! This place sucks! Get me out of here! Can't you just let me go? Please! I'll be good! I swear! I'll be good! <laughs> United States Penitentiary! My new home! Next up, Gordon versus Stafford. Come on, Edward! Go the other way! What a nightmare! And where am I? Isolation? You mean, you're putting me in the hole? I just got here! What's wrong with you? I thought the hole was for when you were bad and you didn't follow the rules! You can't put me in here already! This is bad! Bad, I tell you! Some of you kids watching this at home have probably had a time out before! Well, this is like a time out, except it's permanent! I'm never getting out of this time out! Thomas versus Mavis. I don't want to go to jail! This isn't how it's supposed to be for me! You see, I had plans and dreams! And dreams, I tell you! Oh, oh no! I gotta get out of this place! There's gotta be a way out! You know, I'm a mini! I'm small! I can fit through those bars with no problem! Give it a try! Gee, that was easy! Alright, back in your cell. We've got guards all over this place for this kind of nonsense. It's time you start learning the rules around here. You are entitled to food, clothing, shelter, and medical attention. Anything else that you get is a privilege. You are required to work at whatever you are told to do. And when you're in the cell house, loud talking, shouting, whistling, singing, or other unnecessary noises are not permitted. Meals are served three times a day in the dining room. 
Do not exceed the ration. Do not waste food. I hate it here! I just want to go home! We haven't even discussed your daily routine yet, but it's posted right over there on the wall. Get familiar with it. Finishing up the quarterfinals, Hero versus Edward. I'm not afraid of prison life. Ooh, and look, the walls are green like me. But, but what's with the busted toilet seat? Excuse me, I've got a broken toilet. Send someone to fix it now. So, I heard you've got a broken toilet seat. Well, there's three words on Alcatraz we like to use here. Deal with it. Semi-finals time, Freddy versus Stafford. Ha! Ha! Stafford, you let me down! I knew I should have threatened you with something! I should have threatened to melt your brains! Anything, anything but this! For crying out loud! I don't even have a toilet in here! Excuse me! Excuse me! There's no toilet in my cell! What's that? Did you say no toilet? <gasps> Guess what? I don't care! Freddy goes on to the finals. Who will he face? Mavis or Edward? The two engines were stuck, so they had to try again. Suddenly, Mavis knocked Edward from the track, and no one was there to defend Lex Luthor. Well, here it is. Home sweet home. Let's have a look around, shall we? It looks like I've got a functioning bathroom and toilet. That's more than some minis can say. And look. I've even got some nice fancy artwork. And if I really get bored, apparently I can pick up some knitting. Not so bad. Final round! Mavis versus Freddy! Freddy! Remember what I said! Oh, I was so close to freedom! My jail cell has a comfortable bed, and if you come visit me, we can play checkers! Freddy is the winner! And that meant that the Joker would not be going to jail. So he got on a boat to leave the island. So long, jail! I guess you can say the Joker got away! It's sure gonna be nice! I'm not even gonna have any supervillain competition! <laughs> As for the other seven minis, they would spend a long time alone on the island of Alcatraz. Well, I guess all we can do now is keep an eye on these supervillains here. They're not gonna go anywhere for a long time. Not under our watch. Yeah, but the Joker got away. None of these people are gonna be safe until we get him captured for good. One year later, the Joker did come back but it was to visit his sweetheart, Harley Quinn. Oh, it's awful here! You gotta get me out of here! I thought maybe you would switch places with me or something! Uh, yeah, that's not gonna happen. Besides, I'm having way too much fun! Oh, you're just awful! You've gotta at least help me find some way to get out of here! Well, a long time ago, there were these three guys, 
who may have actually escaped. They made these dummy heads and they put them in their bed so it looked real. And then they dug a hole in their prison cell and they got out. But nobody knows if they drowned, got eaten by sharks, or if they're still alive today. Good luck.